Hello! Welcome to Malim Plus. This is Mathematical Activities Grade 2. I'm your teacher, Teacher Jerida, and today I'm ready to learn with you together in this lesson. My dear learner, I will come you. Get ready. Have your pencil, your book, because we're going to do activities as we count. Remember, this is mathematics. Mathematics, we count. When we eat at home, this is science and nutrition, we count. We're using our spoons, we count. So mathematics, it's a, a good subject because it helps us to do many things outside there. Good. Before we start today's lesson, please let's go through our previous extensional work. I hope you've done it well. Wow. So I gave you an additional work. Add. Add 48 plus 34. Remember this is addition and we are adding two digit numbers. All of them are two digit numbers. And here it is a regrouping addition. Therefore, what should we do? Good. We are going to arrange the numbers in their place values. Then we add. So how do we arrange? Check on the screen. That's how we write the numbers in their place values. 48, you write 8 in 1s, 4 in 10s. 34, you write 4 in 1s, 4 should be below digit 8. Then 3 in 10s, and 3 should be below digit 4. Write the addition sign. We add from the right going to your left. That's mean, uh, that means you start adding from the ones before you go to the tens. So we're adding in ones. We have eight and four. Good. Because you had already added, what do you get when you add four plus eight? Twelve. Correct. So are we going to write twelve in ones column? No, because 12, it's a big number, and you, can write, uh, you cannot write a two-digit number in the same place value. Therefore, we are going to regroup 12. We regroup 12 as two ones and one tens. Mm -hmm. Two ones and one tens. Whereby, two ones, we are going to write two below 8 and 4 because you've added so you write 2 in one column then you regroup the one that you've regrouped 110 you take it to the tens place value which digits do we have in tens mm, 4 and 3 so we write 1 because it's 110 the one that you've regrouped you write 1 above digit 4 have you seen digit 1 Good. It is red in color because we have regrouped it. It was not there. Now, let's add the digits in tens column. So in tens, we have one, four, and three. Can you add? One plus four plus three. What do you get? Eight. Correct. So you write eight in tens place value. Therefore, we've added so what is our correct answer? Wow, 82. 48 plus 34, you get 82. Remember in this activity, we have done what we call regrouping. That was as easy as we have done. I hope you did it well, like the way you've done. And I say, bravo. Good. Now, today we are, <coughs> we are going to learn about still addition, addition of numbers, but strictly we are looking at number patterns. Number patterns. Good. We want to work out missing numbers in patterns involving addition of whole numbers up to 100. First of all, what is a number pattern? Hey! A number pattern is a sequence of series of numbers formed with a rule. I repeat, it is a sequence of series of numbers formed with a rule. 
For example, let's check the numbers we have. We have number 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, then we have a missing number there. The first question I will, I'm asking you, are these numbers increasing or decreasing? Good. The numbers are increasing. Correct. The second question, by how many are these numbers increasing? By how many are these numbers increasing? When I, I, I ask you that, please take two numbers following each other, then subtract. Choose any, please. You can take 2 and 5, or 5 and 8, or 11 and 14. Two numbers following each other, and then you subtract. Mm -hmm. Good. You are getting 3. Correct. So we are saying that these numbers are increasing by 3. Therefore, when we add 3 to the last number in the pattern, which one is the last number? 14. So when we add 3 to 14, we are going to get our missing number. Please add 14 plus 3, 17. Correct. Therefore, we say the missing number is 17. We arrange the numbers like this. We have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. Good. Therefore, we can look at different activities. Uh, activities. The first activity is here. Please be active. Have your pencil. Have your pen. What is the next number in the pattern? What is the next number in the pattern? So we have 35, 38, 41, 44. First of all, identify the role. Mm. Remember, how do we identify? Take any two numbers. These numbers should follow each other. Then you take away. You do the same using other two numbers. Then you have a particular number increasing by. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I ask you, by how many are the numbers uh, increasing? By how many are the numbers increasing? By three. Correct. Therefore, how do we get the missing number? Hmm. We are adding three to the previous number, or we say the last number. We are adding three to the last number. This, uh, the last number we have 44. Therefore, add 3 to 44. What do you get? Ah, 47. Nice. Correct. The next number in the pattern is 47. Why? The numbers are increasing by 3. Therefore, you add 3 to the last number. Bravo. Next activity, write the missing number. Write the missing number. Here we have 60. 64 dash 72 76 please take any two numbers following each other subtract or you take away uh -huh. you've told me four correct so these numbers are increasing by four so for us to get the missing number what should we do Wow, we are adding 4 to the number before you get dash. Which one is the number? 64. Therefore, add 4 to 64. 68. Correct. Therefore, we found out that 68 is the missing number. Correct. The numbers are increasing by 4. Therefore, we only add 4 to the previous number. Therefore, the numbers we're going to have 60, 64, 68, 72, 76. Another extra one. Hmm. Write the missing number. But here we have two dashes. So we are going to have two missing numbers. Hmm. 
45555-70. Please, are you able to identify the two missing numbers? Wow, I'm giving you three seconds. Please use the method we are using to get the missing numbers. Three seconds. can see you are showing me 60 and 65. How did you do? Ah, wow, the numbers are increasing by 5. That is correct. Therefore, we are adding 5 to the previous number. The first missing number, dash, we have, you add 5 to 55. You got 60. Nice. The second missing number, you add 5 to the number you've gotten, that is 60, you've gotten 65. Correct. Wow! Genius! Great work! So the missing numbers here we have 60 and 65. That is good. Now my dear Lana, I want to leave you with one number pattern. Please write the missing number. So we have 38, 42, 46, dash, then 54. Please, for you to get to that missing number, please first of all identify the rule. Ask yourself, by how many are these numbers increasing? Then from there, you add that particular number to the previous number, then you fill in the missing Number, please. It's very easy. Don't fear. Do it right. I'm happy that you are keen. And I hope that in the next lesson, you're going to be there so that we work out missing numbers in number patterns. See you soon in the next lesson. Bye.